All right, Bill Malushin, thank you very much. I want to keep these live images up on the screen right now as I bring in Mark Brnovich, Arizona's Attorney General, because we are covering this live now and an opportunity to get your top line thoughts with the breaking news. Mostly adults, not mostly adults, mostly males, some women in there, but all adults at these mass drop offs. This one in San Antonio, Texas, at, at an airport, bus loads. Attorney General. Yeah, Harris, I think that. My first reaction is outrage. As you know, I'm a first-generation American, and this is a nation of immigrants, but it's a nation of the rule of law. And the Constitution has to mean something, and the law has to mean something. And the Biden administration is unilaterally basically destroying this country. To me, I look at this, and I think that this is anarchy, chaos. We are subsidizing and basically uh, decriminalizing people entering this country illegally. And it breaks my heart to think at one point, I thought the Biden administration wanted to abolish ICE, but now it's clear they just want to abolish our entire southern border. And I think as a result of that, we're going to see more crime in this country. We're already seeing, as you and I have talked about before, a record amount of fentanyl and methamphetamine yes. coming in this country. So people are going to die as a result of the Biden administration's policies. Talk to me about the law. Uh, you know, because that, that really is the bottom line here. You have people who, like your family, uh, previously, my, my mother uh, was a descendant of Haitian immigrants. You know, you, you come here legally, you go through years and years and years of doing the right ways and the right things, and then you see this. The law, though, is a bottom line type deal it's supposed to be, blind to emotion or, or whatever is driving this. Yeah, Harris, I mean, you, if you disagree with the policy, you can change the law. But what the Biden administration is doing, and this is why we've sued him numerous times, is systematically disobeying the law. As you know, we have a lawsuit because the Biden administration refuses to deport people with deportation orders, and that means people with criminal records, people accused of crimes, convicted of crimes, are being released into our community. Not only in upstate New York, but Southern California, from Yakima, Washington, to Yuma. I mean, we're seeing the consequences, and we'll continue to feel those consequences. And I don't say this lightheartedly, Harris, but at this point, you know, Mayorkas is by far the most incompetent of all the Biden administration cabinet officials. <laughs> and obviously that says a lot. Why isn't the Senate, why isn't Chuck Schumer, Cartel Kelly from Arizona demanding accountability? And if he can't do wow. his job and he's undermining our national security, he should be impeached. So you're talking about an administration who's breaking the law and you're calling for impeachments. And all of it is something that Fox News has been pressing the White House about for months. Back in October, you may remember this, because you and I, yeah. Attorney General, talked about it. We, we were in disbelief that it got handled this way. Yeah. Our own correspondent, Peter Ducey, was pushing for answers from White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki on those secret flights with little children who had come across the border illegally, taking them to airports all over the country. Let's watch her response back then. Why is the administration flying thousands of migrants from the border to Florida and New York in the middle of the night? Uh, well, I'm not sure that it's in the middle of the night, but let me tell you what's happening here. Um, it is our 4:29 a.m. Well, he, very he, early in the morning. Here we are talking dawn. about it. early flights, earlier than you might like to take a flight. 2:30 in the morning. I mean, was she joking? I, that's what we thought at the time, but now. We actually know that the, the federal contractors, attorney general, feel like they are travel agents. <laughs> I mean, for illegals in the country, no matter what age they are. Yeah, it is, it is crazy. And, you know, I'm arguing a case next month at the Supreme Court on the public charge rule because the Biden administration is essentially providing taxpayer benefits to people that have entered the country illegally. And so unlike a lot of previous waves of immigration where people had to assimilate, they couldn't become dependent or reliant on government benefits, the Biden administration is upending all of that. And I think that's because the Democrats in D.C. want to essentially socialize our economy. And I think this is part of that effort to undermine Americans society. And it's really inconsistent, not only with Arizona values, but American values. And I just, it, it's mind boggling because the toughest question people are getting asked that have entered this country illegally is not whether they're on the terror watch list or they have a criminal record. It's whether they want a, a king or a double bed in their room and where wow. they want to fly to at taxpayer expense. Wow. I, I want to just quickly say this, because as we were hearing those federal contractors caught on that, that uh, body cam video, we could hear them say, we don't want to attract the media. We don't even know where we're going. I mean, this was it, surreptitious. This was clandestine. How illegal was it? 
Don't the left like to say democracy dies in darkness? Well, what the Biden administration is doing is systematically lying to the American people. And it's like that old Groucho Marx line, um, who are you going to believe, uh, Joe Biden or your lying eyes? And they would, they're manipulating the public, Harris. And like I said, it's just as a believer in the rule of law, as a first-generation American, it breaks my heart to see what was happening in D.C. with Chuck Schumer, Cartel Kelly, and Joe Biden, and Secretary Mayorkas. Yeah, and, and, and you say it breaks your heart, but you're going after them with the law. Uh, and we'll be I watching am. you do that. We'll cover every second. I want to get to this. Uh, Vice President Kamala Harris is in Honduras today, so south of the border, marking just her second trip to Central America. And remember, she's the border czar and in charge of dealing with finding and solving the root causes of illegal immigration. Basically, the reason so many people want to flee to the United States, she's supposed to be dealing with all of that. She told them not to come. That didn't work. Critics also going hard on the vice president for going to the south, southern border only once so far. She went to El Paso, remember? But the problems were not along that stretch then. During her visit to Guatemala in June, the VP told would-be migrants don't come to the United States, but the Guatemalan president says he didn't hear that directly from her. AG? Vice President Harris wants to send $300 million of our taxpayer dollars to Central America to try to examine the root cause of immigration. I'm going to save the Biden administration that $300 million. People <laughs> want to come here because this is a great country. But it's a great country because the rule of law means something and the Constitution means something. And we have to have a system that doesn't get overwhelmed, that, in, that doesn't incentivize people breaking the law and coming here illegally and then basically giving government, getting government subsidies. It, it is shameful that Secretary Mayorkas um, won't meet with us, won't talk to law enforcement in Arizona. Um, uh, Kamala Harris, used to be the Attorney General of California, refuses to talk to us as well. That is unbelievable. By the way, the Vice it President is. will be in Honduras for the inauguration of their new socialist president. Uh, good to see you today. Thank you for being in focus Thank you, as the news is breaking.